I was watching this Groovin' in G video on breakbeat resampling, and I was wondering if I could come up with a way to use his techniques natively in Renoise. And I think I've come up with a pretty good approximation of his system using just a few tools, and you can do it entirely in Renoise. The general principle is to record a lot of automation and then resample that into smaller slices for remixing and then repeating the process almost indefinitely. So the first part of that, drawing automation, pretty easy, but also pretty boring. Even if you have a tool like Automatron, it can be pretty tedious sometimes to draw in the automation and you just want to play it in. So that's what we'll do instead. It's a little quicker to get the ideas out of your head and into Renoise. One way to go about that is to duplicate patterns so that you have some excess to record into, but you run the risk of running out. So I think it is better to use the tool auto clone patterns, which will create an extra pattern below as soon as the current pattern has finished playing, giving you an infinite loop to record more and more automation and variations into. So for example, I've got a lazily sliced breakbeat here for demonstration purposes. I'm going to turn on the tool. You need to activate follow player position and loop a pattern. I'm going to use this doofer that I've prepared for demonstration purposes. Notice how it's created the pattern here. And once it gets to the end, it will create another. We now record some automation. I think that'll do. It's definitely quicker to use a MIDI controller, but I didn't feel like plugging one in. Anyone will do as long as it's got knobs and you map it to the doofer or macros of your choice. The next step is to get this nicely and cleanly sliced for remixing. So I like to use Sam Render. You can of course render out individual patterns, but that begins to clutter up the instrument box very quickly. So I prefer to use this to quickly render everything directly into the instrument box. You need to make sure that you have the destination selected. I like to have accumulate on, so it's always building a larger library, even if it's just one sample, it's good to leave this on. Overwrite can be a little risky sometimes. You can, of course, render each pattern individually. Ah. Make sure that you have the proper sample turned on. And then go through and render each one and build up a library of individual variations. The problem with this that I find is that it's a little slow and tedious and defeats the purpose that we're trying to solve. So you can select every pattern then, render them all at once, and now the problem is to slice it into even slices for remixing. We have five patterns here. So it's just a simple matter of using the chop sample tool and multiplying five by, let's say, we want to divide each pattern into four pieces. So we'll just use 20 slices and then destructively render the slices and get rid of our original. And now we have an entire list of unique variations. We can then perhaps 
work that back into the original. And then repeat the process over and over to create an endless list of variations. One problem that I have with this is that you can only destructively render one time. So you can either continue to make different instruments, which isn't the worst thing in the world, or you can save all samples as, and then save them out and drag them into some sort of master instrument of variations. That's what I like to do, just to have a big folder of all the content that I would need. This has been a quick tutorial on a fairly simple but powerful method for recording, resampling, and remixing with automation. I recommend that you check out this Groovin' and G series on Amen Breaks, and I will include links to all of the tools that I discussed in the description. Thank you for watching.